trying to play the saxophone. Takes about 200 years. I've been doing it for 12. I like playing the saxophone in the Jolly Brewer on open mic night because it's good to, it's a good test ground. When you first go in the brewer people say, are you going to play your saxophone tonight? And I'm thinking, I'll try. I'm banned for drinking and driving. Um, the money that I would have spent on buying a car, I bought my first saxophone with. Well, I make it up as I go along. And I suppose that's why I get nervous about it, because if I did have some set piece to do that I could practice, then I will not be so nervous. But then you haven't got the spontaneity. And uh, people say, what sort of music do you do, Rupert? And I say, um, spontaneous combustion jazz. I haven't got a very good memory for remembering things off by heart, so I need to improvise, I need to be able to improvise. So I've got more room to manoeuvre. <laughs> In fact, music's good. In the places where I've been, like uh, old people's homes and things, where I've been visiting my granddad, I don't think there's enough music. When I used to visit my granddad, he had a great big telly on and a gas fire on it, it was stifling, and he said to me, that mesmerises you. I said, well, turn it off then. And I used to play in my little disc band with some little speakers on, and we used to listen to uh, Django Reinhardt, and his jazz musicians from the 30s. And uh, within seconds, we're there tapping away and grinning. It's good stuff. Right, this is a boat that I bought. I meant to be getting a new caravan, but I got offered this instead. <laughs> this is my scruffy caravan, which is dropping to bits. It was scrap when I moved into it, but it's better than the shop doorway. Uh, I've been wanting to run away since I was about four. <laughs> Find somewhere that's safe where the grown ups don't bother you. And I've ended up here, and you don't bother me. I played one day with my neighbour, we worked this tune out, and um, when we played together, it made us all tingle. And I was thinking, God, oh, that was good. And I said to my mate, I was telling my mate about it, he says, You know what that is, Rupert? He says, No. He says, Harmony. He says, I want some of that. <laughs> but it alters your mood, so sometimes if I'm pissed off in the morning, I can put something on that might make me feel happy because either reminds me where I work, work was at a certain place in my life. I just, uh, I need it. Uh, one day when I was angry and I felt like just smashing my old caravan up, I got this trumpet and blew it as loud as I could for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and uh, in the end I was laughing. <laughs> I was thinking, I wonder what the people in the village think to that. <laughs> I was thinking about it the other day, about the future is all pressing buttons, isn't it? Either computers or um, phones and that. Well, I can't do them very well, so I'm going to learn to press them buttons.